Well, it's almost back to school time, and as your kids will soon head back to the classrooms, Madison County School System Superintendent Ken Kubik wants to ensure students are safe. It's where we start. I'm Kenesha Dees. Our Sedona Meadows joins us now. In Sedona, you sat down with Superintendent Kubik. What did he tell you? Yeah, Kenesha. Just like you said, safety of students is top priority for Superintendent Kubik, and the Madison County School System has already been working on ways to increase their security. Schools should be safe spaces, and safety is at the forefront going into this school year and beyond for the Madison County School System. Being former law enforcement before I came into education, the safety and security is something that's very important to me. As a matter of fact, the vision that I have for this district is a safe and secure environment for our staff and our students where teaching and learning is paramount. We budgeted for two additional SROs, so that's going to put 13 of them are going to be funded by the Madison County Board of Education. The other seven are funded by our Sheriff's Department, so that puts 20 SROs on there. In addition to this, and a response to the ever-growing Madison County, the school system has been rezoning and reconfiguring some of their locations. As Superintendent Kubik says, having more people in the county and school safety are synonymous. We're working on building a corridor that's going to connect New Hope High School's main building to the gymnasium, so the students won't have to go outside to go to the gym for safety and security and you know purposes. We built five five new corridors, airlock chambers inside of various schools that didn't have them so that there's a holding zone so people can't just get directly into the main building. They've also widened the entryway to Meridianville Middle School to make it safer for families dropping off their kids and for travelers on the parkway. And they're working on building a new campus. A new school out in north of 53 in the Tony area. Um, we are working on a McKee project out there, which looks like we're, we're right now it's planned for an intermediate school out there to help out with some of that growth. Superintendent Kubik so is looking forward to welcoming students back to campus this year and will continue to prioritize the safety of students and staff. In the Madison County school system, we are taking steps on a daily basis to make sure that when that child is in our care, that we're providing the most safe and secure environment for them. Superintendent Kubik says their school district saw great successes last year in athletics and academia and other extracurriculars. And he can't wait to see what this new school year brings.